Hello everyone. So we are uh, working on uh, modeling, rigging and texture mapping this character. So we have already looked at how to model the character, how to do the rigging and how to do the skinning. So in this tutorial, we are going to look at how to do the texture mapping. And uh, if you have not worked on the other um, videos, if you want to see how to do this from scratch, uh, the links are in the description so uh, you can go to the description and look at the links and create this character and do the rigging and skinning okay so today we are going to focus on how to create texture map we are going to look at how to create the eye and how to create this uh, texture uh, where the sh shoe area is darker and then the color gradually changes to blue and then the eyes are there okay so I'll open the character where I had done the rigging and there was no texture mapping. So what I have done is in on this character, uh, if you go to the texture map, I've just assigned an image. Right? So I was looking for a texture and I went to brown texture map. That's all I was looking for. And while browsing, I came across an image. Maybe I didn't type the map. And I found that interesting texture. Here it is, one of them is here. And if you browse down, you can find the other one somewhere. So you can use any texture, but I wanted some uh, different colors onto the character. So let us work, here it is, this is the other one. So I wanted more of brown and less of blue. So I use this one. So save this image. And then uh, if you search for brown texture, you'll find this image. And then the other one I look for is creature eye texture. And Which one did I use? I think this one was the one I used. Marine animal texture. Okay, so you can use anyone else. We can try to use this one here. Okay, so I will save this image as I texture. All right, now we'll go to Photoshop and I'll open that. Uh, eye texture okay so this is the eye texture what we want is an area where the other part of the eye can lie okay so maybe this will be the eye and everyone else everything else can be green so let us see if how we can use this one for the eye so i'll select the eye and i right click and meant to assign new material and I used blend. All right. So this is the blend material, and we will change the image to the green eye. Okay, and you can instantly see the green eye being assigned. It doesn't look correct because everything this doesn't look like an eye. So we need a white area around the eye. So what I also find out for downloaded is another eye texture, which is this. Okay, and then what we will do is we'll create a circular selection. Okay, for the eye. That's it. Control C, Control V, it, and then go to Edit transform scale then we'll make it smaller and then put it here like this okay so this will be the eye and this will be the area around the eye and then the area around the eye you can work with the color so maybe it is like a bluish 
eye with a green eye in the middle then you can go to this area and select modify feather okay and then you can delete delete and then it will create a feather around the eye okay select modify feather okay delete 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 So that looks nice. File save as. What we can also do is we can create an area image image size. Canvas size. Let us make this seven also. Okay, and then let us fill this area. Edit fill content aware. Edit fill content aware. And edit fill content aware. Alright, so I'll save this as JPEG and name it Green Eye. Okay, so we will open that and assign the Green Eye texture. And that looks like night of the creature which is green and for example if you want to make uh, we will also look at UV editor okay so this is the UV editor and then I went to go to select UV shell select the UV shell and go to create planner mapping okay and the planner mapping is along create planner mapping along X so I will try Y and apply and Z and apply so Z looks better and now you can scale this and make the eye look the way you want so if you want like a long big eye then you get that okay and then you can control D it and put it on the other side so the eye is done now this is the texture map that we assigned for that's a Lambert material This is the material okay so we'll go to UV UV editor and go to shell select the shell and then we'll go to create again planner map and this is along Z okay so we'll go along Y and along X so along X is what I think looks nice so this is brown area this is blue area and you can see that there is some blue area on the top of the character so wherever these vertices are that is where that is going to be assigned so I'll select this Then go to control shift and add more to the selection okay 
will add this much more to the selection and move it down here okay so the feet will get the blue area the eye will get this blue area then we'll go to Photoshop and then we'll open that image file open and go to image flip horizontally so we want more here save it reloaded it and now we got more of blue there so you can see that the eyes are blue the feet are brown and the body is gray okay the eyes are green so if you want the eyes to be blue you can go to photoshop select this go to image adjustments levels Image adjustments, hue saturation, and you can change the color of the eye. Then image adjustments levels, and we can get rid of this blue color. Image adjustments. Exposure, and we can reduce this. Okay, so I wanted more whitish. File save as JPEG. Um, this is green eye. I'll name it blue eye now. All right, so now we will simply update. We need to click on the blue eye. Okay, so this goes better with the eyes. And that's our character. All right, so that's how you can do simple texture mapping of your character. Of course, uh, things are not looking great because of the way it is a planner projection so you can see there's stretching happening but uh, this is like a quick way of doing some things not the right way but the quick way uh, we'll look at more detailed texture mapping in the future classes okay so that's about it thank you very much for watching